Hey, what's happening, Herpers? So, as you can probably hear behind me, he just stopped. Bojangles, the albino western, and just started again. I guess he doesn't like me talking. But that is Bojangles, the albino western diamondback rattlesnake, and he's rattling to let me know that he just shed his skin. If you keep up with the shorts on this channel, you already saw his big bro Spot shed his skin, and now Bojangles has followed suit, so today I'm going to be getting Bojangles out of the enclosure, and I'm going to be letting him loose inside of El Mategu's new playpen to see how he likes that, while I retrieve his shed skin and do a little bit of cleaning in his habitat. So if that all sounds interesting to you, then make sure to hit the like button, and we'll jump right into it. There you have Bojangles, the western diamondback rattlesnake. If you keep up with my shorts, not only did you see his big bro spot shed his skin, but I was lucky enough to actually catch Bojangles in the act of shedding. And now that he's all done, it is time to get him out of there so I can do a little bit of tidying up in his enclosure. There's some poop in that back corner, and somehow he also knocked the ring off of the outside of that thermometer in the back corner. Oh, that's all right, you don't gotta rattle. I'm getting you out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the lock off of this enclosure and unlatch that. And here we go. This is how he... Oh, that's the snake phone. All right, well, don't don't worry. This should only take a minute. We'll relatch that. There is a snake that needs to be relocated, and I'm just waiting to hear how uh, their first attempt goes and if I'm going to be riding my bike over to help with relocating a snake out in the wild or filming the video I intended on filming today, getting that shed out of Bojangles enclosure. Either way, it's going to be a fun one. And I just got the call and I am on my way to go get a gopher snake. So I'm still gonna come back and get that shed skin out of there for you tonight. But unfortunately, this is just a little bit more time sensitive. I'll, I'll come, I'll get you out so you can play it in a little bit. Just, just be patient. This snake call came from my brother's fiance and they were about an hour away from me. So with both hands on the handlebars, I got headed across the valley as safely and as quickly as possible. From the photos of the snake I was sent ahead of time, I could tell that it was a harmless, non-venomous gopher snake. But unfortunately, because of this snake's particular location leaving it there was just not an option and not only that while trying to catch the snake they actually found a second snake in the same area but luckily my brother was able to trap both snakes before I got there the only problem was only one of their containers had a lid on it, so they waited for me to get there to put them in the tub that had a lid for transporting them back out into the desert where they belong but on that note they aren't necessarily out of place in your backyard or around your home as long as the snake itself isn't in immediate danger being around your home or putting yourself your kids or pets at risk well then there's really no reason to remove them and you might as well allow them to continue eating rodents for you and maybe even help keep the rattlesnakes away well there's one snake there's the other luckily they're both in the shade I was warned that this one was being very defensive when he was first captured but he's had some time to calm down now oh, he smells sometimes they'll musk when they're angrier ones too you can tell he did a little bit of that Looks like kind of stubby tail. I'm thinking this might be the female. Next to each other. It's kind of easier to tell from this side. But that's where the tail starts on this one. So this is the boy going on to the rocks there, and then this is the female. She's got that kind of shorter, stubbier tail. So they, they probably are a couple, or at least he's trying to be. <laughs> Possibly have eggs in the lantana over there? Um, they're a little early. I don't think you have to worry about having <laughs> eggs from her, and they don't lay their eggs till later in the summer. Anyway, I got both snakes into the tub and then handed it off to my brother to drive out to the edge of the housing complex while I followed behind on my bike. And luckily we made it to the end of the housing development before either of the snakes escaped and hijacked my brother's car. So with all our good luck used up, it is now time to release these snakes. I'm gonna go ahead and see which one wants to come out first. Wow, and on the one who has her head up right now, I felt it earlier, but I can actually see it right now. This snake was found in a quail's nest and it ate most of the eggs. And I think that is at least what some of those lumps you are seeing in that snake are right now. Yes, we are getting close to the time of year where these two should be hooking up and she'll be having her eggs in another month or two, but I doubt her eggs are that developed yet. So all those lumps we are seeing are probably not her eggs, but the quail eggs that she just feasted on. But that is awesome too, 
because hopefully those quail eggs will give her all of the energy and nutrients that she needs to produce a healthy clutch of baby gopher snakes in two months. But anyway, that is enough inspecting them. It's time that I get these two released. So let's see who wants to come out first. You can see how they're really kind of wrapping around each other. Snakes kind of do this to anchor themselves to something. Ideally, it would be a bush or a hole or something that you can't pull them out of. But when in doubt, you can see that they are even going to wrap around each other. But then as soon as she sees a way to escape, she does just that and disappears into the grass. Well, I hope you weren't all in on that relationship because she, uh, she left without you, dude. Anyway, I'm going to walk just a couple feet away and release him in a different bush. That way he doesn't go immediately back after the female. If he wants to, he won't have any trouble smelling her out and finding her again. But no, 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 no. I don't want him going that way. We hiked away from the road, but I don't want to start him off going in the direction of the road. So I caught him again and steered him in the other direction. And he didn't waste any time finding a hole to stuff himself into. And I do mean stuff himself into. It looks like it was a little bit of a tight squeeze, but it gave me another chance to say goodbye and show you what that tail looks like up close. This is the male, and I can tell that it was the male because his tail is so much longer than the female's. The female had a short little stubby tail, and the male has that long tail for the hemipenes to retract back up into. And, oh, looks like he's making some headway. <laughs> I don't know if I found a rat or a dead end. But whatever it was, looks like he worked his way through it or found another way around. So that is going to do it for this week's video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching to the end. It really means a lot. If you did make it all the way to the end, please consider liking this video so I know to make more videos like this and to help this channel make a comeback in the YouTube algorithm. It has been an uphill fight, but we are finally making some progress. So thank you to everybody who tunes into these videos and has made this comeback possible. You are all amazing. And of course, thank you to the patrons that support this channel directly, starting with my head herpers, Allie Ward, Amanda Lynn, Deborah Torgerson, Jane Cabin Girl, JCH, Lindsay Justice, Sierra Sicard, and Tiffany H. Thank you so much for supporting this channel at the highest tier level every month, and thank you to all the other names you see scrolling up your screen now that support this channel at the other tier levels. I honestly could not keep these videos and shorts coming out as consistently as I do without your help, so thank you. Anyway, thank you again for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. I hope to see you back here next week when I finally post the video of getting that shed skin from the albino rattlesnake. But most of all, I hope that you just keep herping.